Before we jump into today's video, one, we are in Toronto. Um, it surprises me how many people come in the store and say, I didn't know you guys were in Toronto. And before, before we get in, I just want to let you know Boxing Day is coming. It's right around the corner. Merry Christmas to all you. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. All that fun stuff. These tanks are full and everything that is live, if it's a coral, a colony, a fish, an invert, my younger brother, it's all going to be on sale. you got to come by the store. Closed on the 25th, but 26th Boxing Day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, type it in Google. It's Canada's version of Black Friday. Uh, it gets kind of crazy in here. Thanks for creeping Dr. Mo. Where are the fish nets? Oh, yeah, he's Gucci. He's a Christmas tree. Oops, thanks. Oh, you know what they are? Oops. There's a ghost fish. And the coolest thing, frog fish. Oh, what? Come here, my friend. He is. Okay, we see them. You have a white. How did you know? Oh. Come upstairs and show me these ones. What is going on, Reefy fam? March here, Fragbox TV. We also have two special guests in the house today. Fabio, Fragmaster number one, the OG, our first employee actually ever. You're the first one ever. Show it off. What up? Number two, this is actually my younger brother. What up, Mo? Uh, you can call him Dr. Mo if you live in the New York region and you're looking for a dermatologist. You got a skin condition, maybe a zit. This is, this is the guy to look for, Dr. Mo. What are we doing today? Ooh, look at this. Lots of new goodies. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do I have here? Oh, this thing's jumping. Maurizio here does not have an aquarium at home, but he follows the channel. You can actually see he comments on most of the videos. He's Sometimes. and he's also our like thumbnail clickbait um, consultant. Look at this guy. It looks like a dragon. Oh, it looks like a dragon. It's called a dragonette. You know what we should do? We should get you. We should get you to unpack it all. And get your opinion, someone who's not in the hobby, what all this, what all this shit is. <laughs> Looks like a dragon. Step one, gloves. <laughs> Makes for good content. Step two, scalpel. Back here. Scalpel. It's like you're back in surgery. Where are the fish nets? Why did I make this stupid thing? Net goes here, yeah? Where's the net? Look. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Fish net is missing. Fish net? Where's Tia? Did you see the fishnet? Okay, so Tia hid the fishnet. <laughs> Where's the fishnet? You never put on. What? You never put a glove on before? <laughs> Medical exams, no problem. Put on a glove. Where's the net? Oh. <laughs> Who put them under the sink? I fell. Oh, there's a net. Silly Billy. Open it and take it out with your hand. No, I don't know. What do you mean? Yo. No, it won't attack you. Be a man. Be a man. It's only slightly venomous. Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> it's okay, you're a doctor. It feels so weird. Why? I don't like touching this thing. That's that. Oh my god. What if it attacks? Oh, what? what? <laughs> oh, like, Bring it over here. Where are we putting it? Isn't it cool? What if it jumps? It's a beautiful. That's a very no, nice. It's beautiful. Spider decorator. Oh. Nice example. Wow. Touch it. It feels weird. It's moving. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Come here, my friend. Oh, that is a. That's one of the nicest ones we've ever got. Wow. Oh, sorry. These ones say drip. So we gotta drip them. We're gonna drip them because the salinity is 1.02. No, 1.018. That's what our wholesaler keeps them at. So we see. Drip me. We gotta drip them and acclimatize them. You like the heart? Yeah. It's cute, huh? Why are you wearing black gloves? I can't see shit, man. It's called bubble algae. You've never seen bubble algae? Just remove it. It's Just like how perfect it is. Well, all what happens is when it bursts, it can release spores in your tank and then you end up with a lot more of it. Yeah, just, just toss it. Well, all this is Kill it. All nope. of this is dead. What do you think they are? What are they? Snail? Snails. But what kind of snails? Open it up. I have no idea. This is better than Christmas. Unboxing. Oh, wow. It's Never used a razor blade. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm related to you. This is provisional. Brother. Look at this. Have you never used a razor blade? This is provisional. It's professional. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> special means. Dude, did you just right, try it? Right. <laughs> provisional. Wow. Alright, let's do this again. How are you a doctor? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. You look like where's Waldo with this hat? Oh man. Okay. Stuck is good. 
they have suction. There's, is that three on that, one? Yep, that's three of them. Yep, this one's cool. Give me this one. So these are Dragon Thorn Turbos. We don't get them often. Crazy shell. That looks fancy. Yeah, very fancy. So you get all the cleaning power of a turbo snail, but you get this awesome shell that looks like it's straight out of Game of Thrones. All right, Fragbox. Hey there. Uh, just checking if you have the Red Sea Reaper 170 in stock. Crabs? Crabs. Different than other kind of crabs. Take two. Take oh, two. Let's put the razor the other way. Take you have two. increased your efficiency by 100%. Watch oh. again. You know how to stitch yourself up? That'd be kind of cool. Huh? That'd make a good episode. No, let's not do that. We should show Fabio's hand. Fabio, come upstairs and show YouTube your hand. Come from the haunted basement. I don't know what's scarier, the haunted basement or Fabio down there. Fabio, come, come show us your hand, what you did. Take the lens right off. Oh, look at that, crazy. Show me your hand. Come, show YouTube what you did. Oh, this hand. Yeah, this hand. Show me. Okay. Gnarly. Look at that, kids. Be careful. Oh, that's so nasty, man. Don't jump fences. Don't jump fences. <laughs> this is a Scarlet Hermit. This is a, this is a very sidetrack video, guys. What do you mean, how am I going to edit it? There's no editing Christmas specials. These are very good cleaners and... Oh, there he is. Less cannibalistic than some of the other hermits and probably the most red out of any cleanup crew that you can add to your tank. Super, super duper red. Oh, look at them coming alive. They're great at eating algae, leftover food, scavengers. You can have one. I think we say one for every... Oh, look at this. We have these little things. One for every five gallons. Sir, hand me one. Estos son los caracoles de México. Mexican turbo snails. This is the backbone of your cleanup crew probably the single most powerful algae eater out there and one cool thing about them blah, 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 they can flip themselves over so if they end up upside down you have to you don't have to go in there and flip them they can do it all on their own just dump it just dump it look what fabio gave me for christmas he painted me this isn't that cool a frag man and an artist blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just dump them they'll flip themselves only problem with these, we don't have a lot of algae in here. It's very clean, super clean tank, so uh, we gotta sell them quick, otherwise they starve. This is a pretty cool little fish. Oh man, I'm gonna keep him. It does Pokemon. Yeah, it's called uh, a Charmander. That's Adam. <laughs> da -da -da. On the 12th day of Christmas, my wholesaler gave to me one Dragonette. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Live. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's Gucci. Oh, this is going to be a cool tank for him. But you know what he needs? He needs to eat. What do they eat? What do they eat? Uh, fireflies. The fireflies. Yeah, they're vegan like you. They eat. When you own the store, you can just grab whatever. Look, check this out. What's that? What's that? Little fireflies. Fireflies, yeah. How did you know? <laughs> Little fireflies. These are called fireflies. They're called Tigger Pods. They're live pods from our friends over at Reef Nutrition. And we're going to get this guy hopefully eating frozen one day. But until that day... We're gonna feed him some of these. How much should we put? I'm gonna go with the whole bottle. So he's got lots and lots of food and they'll reproduce at the same time. Actually, would you like to do the honors? Squirt, squirt, squirt. Yeah. Look at that, live pods. They also make apex pods, but um, these are a little bit bigger. All the corals eat them too. Poor pods, man, everything gets eaten by them. They just get destroyed. They're very much at the bottom of the food chain. Yeah, make life easier. Momentarily take oh, it out. Little buddies just floating around. Oh, you side. know what I do? Rinse that in the tank so we get all of them out. Oh, he's already starting. Look at him going to work. He's in pod heaven. What a beautiful little animal. So cool. You want to name him? Dragonite. Dragonite. Sure. <laughs> Coral. Yeah, all of them can go right into that one. These are, for, as you open them, I will tell our lovely YouTubers what are these? Frog spawn. And they're kind of cool. They have a gold mouth. And they're purple and green. They're not your standard regular green. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, let me if I go under light and stop moving. Let me get them in the tank. They're really neat. My brother just asked me, what is the most popular product? That's a hard question. I don't know if there's any one in particular, but check this out. Oh, man. Beautiful. This is going um, into a client's tank. Large custom in-wall build. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful blonde. So we're going to throw it in quarantine first. Any fish that go in there go through a pretty rigorous quarantine here in the store. It's got a very healthy population. Who are you, fishy? Trip me. Let's see. Who are you? I can't tell, actually. Some other sort of tang. Oh, I think it is a 
It's yellow eye coral, but from the Philippines, not not the Philipp uh, not the Hawaiian one. Is this the first time you've ever handled coral? Wow, I've been doing this for how long? Like I always had fish tanks growing up. 16 years. 16 years. Yeah. You, today is the first day you've ever actually touched a coral. Weird. It's like rock. Yeah, it's rock with mush. This is a beautiful fish. Oh, I want to keep it. Where am I going to put it though? The problem is, yeah. It's a we, big boy. we have such a um, healthy population boy. of big boys already, so <laughs> it'd be hard to add it because it's an aggressive and fight. But oh, what a beautiful oh, no. fish. Okay, best guess. What is it? Um, no idea. No idea? Just, no. What, what would you call it if you had to give it a name? Tree branching thing? Tree branching thing, huh? <laughs> That's how we got the thumbnail. Do it again. <laughs> Do it one more time. <laughs> Matt, golden rod. These are the golden rods. Really funky. It's uh, like a really easy to grow, fast growing hard coral. And they come yellow, which is pretty unusual color for really any coral. It's called an anacropora. An acropora. Acropora. But acropora. Anacropora. Check these out. Beautiful, large, green goblin anacropora. These are actually going to be a lot, a lot less expensive than they normally are. And then we have these ones over here which are the yellow with red polyps. The name is escaping me. It'll come in one second. Matt, golden rod. These are the golden rods, really funky. It's uh, like a really easy to grow, fast growing hard coral. And they come yellow, which is pretty unusual color for really any coral. Do, you, do it again for the camera, what are they? Beautiful. <laughs> Something wrong with my brother. Uh, oh man. Wait, are these the same? Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful. Florida. Right Down with Fabio. Florida Recordia. Mm, I want to do a mixed Recordia rock. It's very impressive when you see a bunch of Recordia grown out. So I'm going to keep collecting cool colors and just let them do their thing. Just take over this. If you're interested in this tank that I keep showing you, this is the Reef Casa Flat 6. They ship internationally. It's an all-in-one little six-gallon tank. You can grab one off our website, reefcasa.com. Okay. Did you know that Hannah makes a bomb? pH tester. Oh, that's I, didn't, I didn't know that. Real. For real, yeah. So <laughs> that's cool. We'll try it out. I had no idea. I just went over to the warehouse and I walked by. I was like, hold on. What is that? Oh, pH tester. Yeah, I feel like that's beyond us. Look what Tia's up to. Nice. Tia made all these. I like when you guess. Yeah, what's this? Tell me. Uh, Let's see if, it, if you guys can guess before he does. Lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie, yeah. So, because coral sales are really slow, we have to resort to selling dessert. Dessert? <laughs> Lemon meringue pie, yeah. They're called <laughs> yellow sea cucumbers. They're filter feeders. They're more or less just decorative, but they're really, really freaking cool when they- are on the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put you on the Christmas the tree. The underwater Christmas tree. Why don't we have one of those? When they stick out their feeding tentacles, it's a really, really beautiful animal. It is a Christmas tree. It looks like a little piece of pineapple. They only come from Vietnam. I think it's the second time we've had them this year in 2022, so quite rare. You might want to uh, jump on it. That's what a good point. Yeah, dude, we have Christmas trees right here. Check it out. Boom. What a beautiful rock, huh? Just perfect. <laughs> They're not alive. I mean, they are alive. I thought this was a coral for a second. No, I was like, what is this? it's a yellow meringue pie. sea meringue pie. This is not one of the more informative videos, but if you're watching until now, super fan, that means you must really like us. Anyone who watches past the five minute mark is here for the ride. Okay, again, guess what's uh, in the bag? Another crab. Another crab? Crab. What's a crab? No, crab. These are crabs. There's no such thing as a crab. Crab. <laughs> okay, crab. <laughs> Put the crab in the water. Oh, yes, those are the bang purple claw orange hermits very popular here in the store again another good eater and i'm holding in my left hand check this out bergia so if you're dealing with aptasia these are bergia oh man might be kind of hard to see oh whoa that's the biggest one i've ever seen i didn't know they even got that big holy crackamole look at that thing they'll eat aptasia that's all they eat they reproduce quite rapidly in your aquarium so if you're looking for a solution have you ever seen a bergia that big that's Come. That's yeah, I didn't yeah, that's crazy. Look for these burgias. They're not cheap, but highly effective. That is one beautiful anemone. Our wholesaler calls it Nexus. Damn boy! So it can travel between Canada and the US very easily. Because it's got Nexus. What a stupid joke. 
It's actually, it's quite a beautiful limb. Really nice. What do you mean you have no idea? Look at it. Cranky, what is that? Yeah, cranky, open the bag. Cranky, <laughs> cranky open it. You don't know what it is? No idea. She's a beauty. How do you know what they are? No. Nope. They are called sea urchins. Have oh, you ever heard of those, little uh, brother? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Sea urchins. I like the blue. They're, they're cool, huh? Yeah, they're called tuxedo because the color's sort of like a tuxedo. This one's wearing cool. some grape calerpra on its hat. Very powerful algae eater. And yeah, nice little fit. And this is a good size. They usually come huge. We're getting really lucky with the size of our urchins these days. They're like manageable sizes. The urchin, but not tuxedo. Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> spicy. Not spiky. Not sure if that's the word I'd use to describe them. <laughs> these are the little blue ones. Again, really, really nice size and quite a rare color. Let's stick them here in Tia's Studio 12, which is looking absolutely fire. Yeah, looking amazing. Thumbs up. I can't because I'm holding an urchin. Just thumbs up. Okay, let's take the top off. Not your top. Leave your clothes on. This is a kid-friendly channel. You're disgusting. <laughs> nice custom-made lid. Come on. Don't flip himself over. Look at the color. Just beautiful. It's like a purpley blue. Look at her mushroom garden. Oh, nailed it. The Ghanis, the flower pot. This is almost deserving of its own video. Oh, she really has one right up top. Check that out. Ah, the rock work? Yeah. Yeah, she made it. Handmade. Ring. Tia's designs. If you would like Tia to make your rock work like this, she can absolutely do it. You're just going to pay for it because she's quite expensive. But you give her a drawing and she will take the time and she'll make it come true. Rock like this starting around, I don't know, what would it cost? $250, $300? She said 10,000, okay, yeah, Damn. maybe nine. Time and material, yeah, I would say about three bills, but you're gonna get a one-off custom Tia-made rock work. It's pretty darn cool. These guys are dripping nicely. I'm gonna do a two-hour drip. Take our sweet, sweet time on getting them there. This is just a prototype, but this uh, drip tool will be available soon, actually, on our website. If you're looking for an easy, effective, and inexpensive way of dripping fish, we'll be able to offer to you this very soon. Oh, Mo, Dr. Mo, come. I want your opinion on these. Come, check these out. Come. Mm. What's this? What do you think they are? Um, Lift it. Looks like a. What is it? You know, you know those like giant Florida tree. What are those? <laughs> palm trees. Palm trees. They look like. Kind of like palm trees. Open it. Alright, let's One, please. Uno, dos, tres. Weird. <laughs> This is called a feather duster, and the color on them is just out of this world. Beautiful maroon, red, sort of yellow, and I'm gonna keep one for this tank. A glimpse of the color right there. See him? Oh, it's coming out. Say it again. <laughs> Say I wanted to keep it PG, you know, for the for the peeps out here, but this this looked a little bit like something else when I first saw it. You are messed up. Oh, look, it opened up too. He's opening it. Really beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. And then when you touch him, check this out. Bloop. Oh, now they're stressed, but usually they'll go away. Probably the coolest thing we picked up today. Look at this frog fish. I completely forgot we got this, so I took the mandarin out of here. It's going in Tia's studio, and we're gonna do the frog fish. Yes. Slightly venomous. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> is that our saying now? Oh yeah, beautiful. All right, he's good. Oh, he's amazing. He's Gucci. He's so Gucci. Oh, that's his name. Gucci. 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 Yeah, Gucci the frogfish. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. What a nice color. What a cool fish. We gotta learn a little bit more about him, but. Oh yeah. Oh my god, best one. Which one? Open this. <laughs> what the hell? Is this a spider? Open it. Open. Crab? Open spider it. Crab? Man, we're getting lucky with these tiny, tiny urchins. We've never seen them this small. I only got two. I like this, these are the white red ones, nano sized. So if you're watching this video and you want us to hold them, huh? There you go, there's two of them. So if you see it, email me if you want to hold them or go on our website and buy them. If you're in Canada, we ship across the whole country. Say all that again for the channel. He's telling a very nice story. This is the first ever like live thing he ever got. What is it? Tell them what it is. It's a shrimp. It's a shrimp, yeah, this and is what started it. He was obsessed with it, I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> and it, was, it died. <laughs> And he was literally crying over it. I'm like, man, it's just a shrimp. Like, we're, it's what? Okay. It was shrimp? <laughs> F off. <laughs> yeah, actually, I wanted. I just wanted a shrimp, and then I fell in love with corals, and then 
this. Ta-da! This is the ultimate expression of a hobbyist obsession to the nth degree. This is what happened. Yes, the blood shrimp. It gets its name because it's not with the crypts, it's with the bloods. Is that a good one? I'm so dumb. Check this out. The fiddler crabs, they've moved from our flat six here. We built a little sort of island for them. Check this out. Because I really like to come out of the water. They do spend about, I would say, half their time out of the water. They're such a cool crab to watch. Go in and out and in and out. So constructed this little monument just for them so they can climb out, out of it. This is a what we call bread and butter item here in the store. This is a cleaner shrimp. Oh, can you get out of your arm there? Yeah, uh, he's not coming out. All right, let me take this. We have first. these in stock at all time. Super popular and quite useful. Okay, reefing fam, that's it. I am in love with this new frogfish, our new friend Gucci. Comment below, what do you think about the name? Is it Gucci? Is Gucci Gucci? If you guys like the channel, you like the content, you like the never ending changing craziness that goes on here, give us one of these, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and that's it. We'll have a very nice Christmas and Hanukkah and happy holidays and whatever else you celebrate. Be with your loved ones, enjoy this time of year. We're getting a blizzard here uh, tomorrow in Toronto, so that should be fun. And have a very nice day or afternoon or maybe even the morning, wherever you're watching from. Goodbye for now.